Chan's Independent. Hey, Dave, have you seen this uh, video of then state Sen New York State Senator Eric Adams uh, doing a tutorial about how to check your kid's room at home for guns and dr drug contraband? <laughs> no. I've seen this video. I'm really excited to show you. And um, yeah, I'd love to know what you think of it. Hi, I'm New York State Senator Eric Adams. I will show you how to search a room to ensure that you remove illegal handguns and other contraband from your home. By periodically sending a message to your home, the message is you expect your children to do what's right, but you always have to inspect what you expect. I always recommend to start out in a periodic fashion so you'll be used to going through the room to look at um, the various items in the room. You can look in the jewelry box. A jewelry box of this nature may be a simple jewelry box, but if you look through it closely, you don't know what your child may be hiding. For instance, a gun could be hidden. Something simple as a crack pipe, a used crack pipe. Could he have found it on the street? That's quite possible. <laughs> Behind a picture frame, you can find bullets. What does that mean to find bullets? Does it mean your child is, is carrying a gun? No. Bookcases. It could be more than just books. Perfect place to hide uh, cocaine. Something simple as a, as a baby doll. Could be just a baby doll, but also it could be a place where you can secrete or high drugs. Run your hands over the pillows and see if you feel anything that's unusual. Like a pillow like this with a button is a perfect invitation to hide something. This one could be hidden inside a pillow, a gun. They normally take the gun and they point it in their direction to pull down on it. The First Amendment does not apply to the right of parents to go through their homes to remove contraband or any other unsafe item. There are no First Amendment rights in your home. You have a duty and obligation to protect the members of your household. So right off the bat, I mean, you see what we're working with here. Uh, Eric Adams, it, it looks like he's in the room. There's a room in every house, like especially your grandparents' house, that you don't want to go into because it looks haunted or there's old dolls or there's just anachronistic like pieces of tech from, from years before. What the heck is going on in Eric Adams' apartment? I mean, he's a state senator, for God's sake. When I first watched it, it looked like, uh, like, do you remember I Spy books from when we were kids? Like, a book that had, like, limited words, and it just had, like, a montage or a collage of old-timey rustic things and would have you look for specific items in that room. I mean, this is, like, the crack and gun version of an I Spy book. I Spy a Glock. Being a father now, um, I do kind of get it. You know, I kind of get his like where he's coming from, at least. You, you get where he's. What do you mean, like, like you think? Well, it's, you think this is a good idea? That's what you mean? Well, it's like you know, it's stupid, but like you know, I I get it at least. You know, it's like you got to be careful, like where you know it starts somewhere. It's a you know, I feel like for a lot of kids, it's a slippery slope, and you know, you never know what you got to get it where it starts, not where it ends up. It's like if somebody's like, you know, you know, they say pot is like the gateway drug. If they're yeah. if they're sniffing pot one day, what are they going to do the next day? Kind of a thing. You know what I mean? So, so your daughter is now six, almost six months old. Yeah. So you think the slippery slope of your six month old daughter is I'm going to watch Cinderella. Then I'm going to play with my baby doll. Then I'm going to secrete weed in it, which let's go back to that. A, a bag of weed that size, you wouldn't need to check their room. That that smell that's coming out of that bag and out of that baby doll would permeate the entire apartment. Well, it's like he says, you you need to fully trust your kids, but you also need to not trust your kids. It's like Reagan said, trust but verify, you know? It's well, like Yeah. I mean, sure, and where did that end up? I mean, that got us into the war on drugs, which we lost. So I don't know. I I don't know if you want to take the government's uh, strategies in keeping guns and drugs off your street. One of the things about this video that it neglects to talk about is like, hey, why don't you sit down and have a conversation with your kid? Hey, why don't you sit down and and take a liking in the things they like to do? If part of that is smoking dro out of a baby doll and you know doing blow out of your grandma's old satchel, then that I don't know. That just is it does it doesn't make sense to me. And I, I'm honestly I'm I'm a little surprised to hear you agree with it. Well, okay. Well, let me ask you this: If okay, if your daughter, you have a daughter as well. If yeah. if she had a diary right now mm -hmm. and you found it, she was hiding it under her mattress. Would you read it? Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. I would. Okay. I would. Well, we I would, would read, read it, it cover to cover. And if you didn't, I would read it for you and report back. I would. I'm just saying, if I found it and there's something in it, I would rat her out just instantly to you look if i opened my daughter's diary and it said dear diary december 1st 
Today I stored a Glock in my mom's decorative throw pillow on the couch. Then I would go, okay, I need to have a conversation with this chick or she's going to get into some heavy stuff and Eric Adams is not going to be happy about it. Now, is this Glock registered in the state of California? Exactly. You got to have that conversation. Does she have a license to carry? Because if she does, what am I going to do? That's her two-way right. You know what I mean? I, maybe the Maybe the First Amendment doesn't apply in your own house, but... The Second Amendment surely does. What if you're reading your diary and it was like, uh, when I see polls, it makes me want to dance on them. What, how would you react to that? I'd kick her out of the house and not let her back in until she refuted everything that she just said. See? And see, you got to you gotta prepare for that because once once they're dancing on polls, it's too late, dude. You already, you already lost fatherhood. You got to catch them when they're like starting to play. Oh, yeah. I like twirling around or even yeah. doing a cartwheel. It's like, well, there's nothing wrong with doing a cartwheel, but what does that lead to? Like if you like one day they're doing that, the next they're like, Oh, I'm doing a cartwheel, but on this pole, I'm going to do a cartwheel from this pole into a lap dance on some random dude. That's willing yeah. to pay, pay, help pay for my college tuition. Maybe they do it. You know, maybe it's on accident the first time. And then they're like, Oh, like I made money doing that. Maybe I can keep making money on, on that. Then all of a sudden, oh, I had premarital sex. Oh, I'm pregnant. Oh, I can't afford anything. Oh, I'm doing crack. I, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm just saying that's, you know, that easily could happen. I think you've converted me. The U.S. government does have uh, the best strategy for making sure your kids don't have guns and crack in the house.